Hi friends, this is a 24 inch Toshiba LCD TV. Here in this TV, the fault is no power issue. See friends, this is the power supply board. While checking, here I found that the power supply board is working properly. Here the problem is with the motherboard. It's a 24 inch LCD TV. See friends, here the fault is with the motherboard. Here you can see due to lightning, the main IC in the motherboard is burned. Here you can see. See friends, this is the fault. That's why the TV shows no power issue. Here in this TV, this complaint is because of lightning. So, instead of installing any universal LCD LED motherboard, here I took another Toshiba motherboard from a 32 inch LED TV. This motherboard is taken from a 32 inch LED TV. But here you can see there is a difference in the panel socket. See friends, in this TV, here you can see the LVDS connection is different this motherboard is taken from a 32 inch Toshiba LED TV it's also a non HD TV so to install this motherboard in this TV here we need to install the same model LVDS socket in this motherboard since both the TVs are non HD TVs so changing the LVD socket will function and here you can see all other sockets are same instead of only difference is the change in the LVD socket so installing same model LVD socket in this motherboard will work also both the TVs are using non HD panel because of that there is no need to change the software so for installing this motherboard in this TV we need to change the LVD socket. So I am going to fix a alternate same model LVD socket in this motherboard. See friends, finally here you can see now we placed a same model LVD socket in this motherboard. Here you can see we soldered the same model LVD socket in this motherboard. See friends, now we can connect the LVDS cable in this motherboard this is the old motherboard here you can see the main IC is burned due to lightning so here we successfully installed the LVDS socket so let's fix this LVDS cable in this socket first See friends, now all sockets are connected. The LVDS cable is also connected properly. Now let's turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, now the TV is turned on. See friends, now the picture comes and the TV is repaired successfully. You can see a small line on the display, it is because of cough damage. So, now the motherboard is working properly. So, let's put the back cover and all screws back to TV. Now, we successfully replaced this old faulty motherboard with this alternate Toshiba original motherboard so by this modification here we fixed the same model Toshiba motherboard in this TV instead of installing any LCD LED universal motherboard see friends finally now the TV is working properly you can see the final result here this line on the left side is because of cough damage 
so hope you like this video see you in another video with another interesting topics if you like our channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications <laughs> thanks for watching